Hey, 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 it's another day. More Pokemon to catch. More bot to break. Because why not? Left off yesterday with the uh, bot seeing if it, it could run all night. And it did, sort of. I did run into an error that I don't remember if I saved. Nope. I was screwing around with logging <laughs> because I want to be able to save these things. So I lost it. What are you going to do? Anyway. Nothing to it but to do it. Hi, everybody. So I started looking into how I'm going to go about aliasing. Because, well, it's cool to have something that makes sense. It'd be a better idea to just have shorter versions. Maybe not help, though. Maybe just Z help. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Burn that bridge when we come to it, right? Big fan of burning those bridges. <laughs> so, let's go. I'm trying to figure out aliasing today. I had a little assistance. So let's minimize this down. We have the commands, and we export the commands. So how do we go about separating off if there's an alias? Since we're doing all of that down here, I wonder if that makes sense. Grubbin. Man, this, uh, having the Pokemon game in here really is squirrel. <laughs> very much, very much. Hey, what's this? That shouldn't be like that anymore. It should just be 3,000. Interesting. Well, let's fix that. Because <laughs> the only time that that should be different is if I'm in dev, which actually that's something I need to fix as well. But we can burn that bridge when we come to it as well. That's not what I'm doing right now. All right, so where do my commands come into play? Oh, no, they don't come in here. They come in over here. notification see as this gets bigger and bigger I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to separate this out no one caught the grubbin and I need the Jonas W5 rigged <laughs> I need to actually pull that picture whatever not my problem right now uh, Okay, so we have the notification. We I have a debug right now, which is that showing up? It is not. Doesn't matter. Uh, where are we? So we check notification. Channel chat message. 
Wait, longer info challenge. Why is it doing that? So I have a chat notification that's breaking. Oh. Okay, so it's just saying that they're, it's letting me know the chat happened. So let's just do that real quick. Oh no, this is broken now because of my work. Trying to get this working. So we're just gonna take this. We're gonna say there, and we're gonna get rid of that for now. Because I wanna be able to see all this stuff. I don't really want to see this one, but whatever. <laughs> oh, why do the keep labs coming through? Dev, oh, Dev is trace. All right, whatever. Close enough. Where was I? WebSocket, that's where we're at. So socket channel chat it's not a chat message this has to be chat notification because I do want to see that that's different right so what wow. debug 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 trace info Okay, so it's not getting that yet. Did the message come through? All right. So when the message comes through, the first thing we do, really, 99% certain I'm going to be putting this into a, a handle message. <laughs> I mean, that was the point of having a separate command realistically, but whatever. So log in. So this makes sure. if user is flagged as bot or opt out and ignore this is basically saying ignore yourself well ignore anything that's been tagged as a bot user and any user that has opted out so right now if you do opt out I think that's in here yeah opt out the bot's gonna ignore you and thank you for, thank you to, uh, Cetilix for pointing that out to me. He was doing that work on his bot and I kind of went, oh yeah, if I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be messing with this. I have to have that option of opting out. And also on Friday, I played a game made by a guy uh, who streams here and also does a podcast that I listen to quite a bit, the uh, Game Dev Field Guide, uh, Zacavelli gave me a follow. Thank you, Zacavelli. That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, anyway. All right, so we, we validated it's not a bot. Move on. Um, now we make sure that there's something in there. All right, tag, where's data get set? If data. Where does data come in? User options, That's, that should be an override up here, right? Oh, okay. Then options and data comes in. 
right here. When user defaults. Oh no, data comes in up here. Okay. Yeesh. All right, so this just says, well, if this gets called, it should get called with data. So the if data is a little bit extra, because I don't think that's going to get, well, anyway, as long as there's data, then it's going to try and do the uh, message handler which in this case is here. And that just bundles it up so it's what the database will expect. No problem. And let me minimize all this stuff right now. Go away. Go away. All right. We got a whole lot of extra logging in here. Um, boom, boom, boom. All right, so now if options zero, which is what I get up here, the user level. Oh no, this is not opt out. This is just if bot. Because right here is where I've wrapped the entire thing. That should be up here. I don't know why I did that. There's got to be a reason I separated that out. I'm gonna come back to that because this seems like it should be, I mean, it's, it's multiple different possibilities, but it seems to me as though I can do that better. But anyway, neither here nor there. If so, skip. All of this. <laughs> All right, so then. Oops. I want that there. So this pulls just response from commands command. If there's no response, it just fills it with something empty. So here is where I need to check for uh, command aliases. I think means let's just do this that should just give me the entire pile of stuff just so I can see what it looks like pile all right so there's Should be right above this, right? <laughs> Function response. Okay. Equals commands command. All right. So how do I? try that but in this case I have to do zombie help all 
undefined. Uh, what does response look like when I do it this way? Where are you? Just function response. Okay. If there's no response, jump out. If type of response is this, then it does response. Okay. So I think I need to do this down one. I don't want to for each everything down here, though. That seems kind of silly. So that instead of everything being its own, I just need to have a name. So that it's more of a more of a collection. Let me do it quick. have an object not a fan That reminds me. Sorry, gotta do it. Doom, doom, doom. Huzzah! Hey, I got the friend ball. That means I've attempted 30 catches. Lucky me. Did I get the Donovan? I did not. Just double check. Nope. Something I was going to do. Oh yeah, I have to do my trade. And I need to trade a poison type. What do we get? A Blissey. With horrible stats. Winning. It's not even something, well, can I just sell it? I'm just going to sell it. Do you go see? Is it worth selling? Not really, but it's not going to get me anywhere to trade it either. Meh, whatever. It's gone. But I still need another poison type. Oh, there you go. Although, I think Crobat... Yeah, I don't know if I want to trade that. Do I have anything else that is poison type? He's just fire here. Yeah. Well, I hope I catch one. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch.
So set is only going to work for me. That's something I have to figure out too. Like I don't want to show commands that a user can't use. And I still do need a are you sure mechanic. All right, so let's look at this. Commands. I think I need to just have a name for each one. Name, aliases, and execute. So then I just switch everything to basically being a function. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to take actually all of this. We're going to do a comment. Let's get you down here. Oh, so it needs that either way. Uh, let's say. Commands equals boom, and I'm going to say name is help aliases are. Yeah, we can do that. And then we just do that. So now if I go over to do, 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 would you, web sockets. So if the type of response is a function, basically it's always going to be a function in this case. Uh, but we don't have the type of response yet because we don't have the command. So we first need to say, uh, are we going to do that on every time? Doesn't seem like the right place to do it. Or do I do, do I do that here and just say, Because here I'm exporting commands. If I export commands and alias, and I do it like so, then I say, be a commands or an alias of a command. All right, let's see what other people have done real quick.
let me go back over here. This is one of the parts that's a little iffy for me on how this exactly works. Like, I get it, but... Response equals that command. Or that gets entered. So if I export... Actually, when it gets called up here, I can do it from here, right? Because I don't want to do it... I don't want to do it every single time that gets called. But once per load is fine. Because that gets called a lot. So maybe... Maybe I try it outside first. Well, no, that's not going to work because I have to see if the command has an alias up down here. So I have to check the command alias each time. I guess I could do or uh, commands alias. That's not going to find the top level. But it will in this case, because I have the name. So, commands, command, like in this case it's help, it's going to send... I have to do commands, name. Keep trying to wrap my, around, my mind around this. Let me... All right. Let's do it in a sprite again. Sure. Okay. So we're going to have... No, that's the eraser. Pencil. Let's make you... All right, so command comes in. We need to check it against the list of commands. If it's not in that list of commands, then we check it against the aliases. Uh, boom, so it either goes uh, yes, oops, either goes yes, or it goes no.
If no, basically just ignore it. Who cares? If yes, then we need to execute. Then we need to know is it text or executable? So now let's put that into into here. So I've got a word. I need to see if it's one of these commands. If it's not one of these commands, then I need to see if it's one of the aliases. How do I validate if it's the alias? Hold, please. All right, I think what I need to do, come on, there we go, I think what I need to do is just break this out and try it. So that's, that's one of the things, we're going to do a new window, bada bing, this is something that's always been weird to me. Uh, there doesn't seem to be an easy way to just make a new uh, a new project. You kind of always have to open a new project. Whatever. Let's say we're going to do objects and I'm just going to kind of copy That was weird. All right, I'm just going to copy the uh, the meat of that and kind of screw around with it for a little bit. So now, uh, oh, we're going to have to go into I don't think I'm going to need much. In here. 
but let's uh, open. I wonder if they're, you know what, let me do that real quick. Just because I'm curious. Make, uh, no. Microsoft code create new project. It's probably in the, uh, the space thing down here. Open the Visual Studio development environment. No, that's in Visual Studio. From existing, this is all Visual Studio. I'll start a new project in VS Code. <laughs> but I don't want another window. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I am right now, right? So it gives you the option to open a new folder. Oh, let me see open folder. I guess you have to open a folder and then say new. Uh, I get it. I get it. that one uh, yes I trust them for they are me hey I cut the bar boach yep I'm gonna make you look at it sorry yeah, this can go away you there let's see any good horrible <laughs> Joy. Horrible. All right. Um, so let's do. I'm going to put a new folder. We're just going to call it commands. I'm going to say new file. You're going to be commands.js. You're going to be a new file server.js we'll just do that that's kind of funny This is, it thinks it's Discord. No, I don't want to do Discord. All right. Then module that exports commands. Uh, we have usage. We have a description, we have a usage. We need aliases. We'll just throw a single alias. Let's not let's not go over my head too far here. Let's look at this guy. So on this side, um, that's gonna get old fast. Go back to server. We're gonna have not import. This is going to be commands equals require that. All right, so the way this is set up, this says response is equal to commands command, which I think by nature of the way that that's set up or the way that I set that up, that's, I'm not gonna be able to easily make this change, but that's okay. I'm not worried about easy. I do these things not because they're easy, but because I thought they were gonna be easy, right?
All right, so now after the water. I'm just gonna copy this. And I don't really need to go to, nope, not that one. Or that one. I don't need to go too in depth because I can just do this. Uh, in this case, I'll just say H. Then we can just say, oh, we want to do the same sort of thing if response. Well, that'll work, because then it'll tell us it's a function or whatever. Right now, the function is nothing. It's always run, which... is fine. Wait, so we just actually, we want if response, then just do the thing. That's the way that's going to work, right? Yeah, it'll just be that. So the difference here is that response is its own function, whereas my run is different. My run is, oh no, runs exactly the same. Okay. I'm just gonna put this over on the other side so I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. You guys, sorry about that. I can still do the uh, if if it's text because that allows okay well again burning that bridge when we come to it <laughs> uh, we're just looking at the help version and I'm looking at where it gets called. So here, instead of if response, then what I need to do is not console log. I do need response to always return something. So I guess actually that should be fine, because then I go here, and instead of console log, I just say, like so. So now if I do here, I can say, and it should just exit out, right? Yeah, alias is not defined. Um, that's That would be true. <laughs> uh, nowhere do I call alias. like this. No. Why am I not returning anything? case if it's a function
Sorry about that. Sneeze just sitting on the edge of my nose. All right. So let me validate this. Uh, that should be working. Oh, I don't have client message or args. So let's say response uh, one message. True. I mean, I don't think that's going to fix it, but now here, I should actually be able to say uh, message. Is this a problem because I'm doing it this way? Oh, right. It's not going to work because it doesn't exist. Do I not have autosave on? No, it's on. triggering all right let's compare Bolton squirrel no not squirtle squirrel So right now, I've got it basically laid out the same way, except I have run. Oh, you know what? Do I need to do this? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. Uh, you didn't fix what you thought you fixed, buddy. There we go. All right. So now I need to figure out how do I get an alias. Equals commands, command. And if I look at the other one I have here, instead it is I have a generic name. Help. No. Don't have description, but I have usage, aliases, run. And now I've got an extra one of these guys. All right. So now to do this exact same thing, the command in this case is help. I need run to equal I need to just do this completely differently. So I need um, I need to already know it's a command, which I'm doing externally right now, which is not wonderful. Oh yeah, I caught it. Squirrel.
one fantastic. Fantastico. So I can't be getting the run. What I need to be getting is name. And then actually, I guess run. equals commands you know what I should do let's try this let's see how this plays out I need to do a for each at this level, which means that I have to do a for each at that level. If I do for each commands. that's gonna do it yeah that's not right that's not how a for each works let's get rid of this let's look at this what I need is no commands dot command yeah cmd console.log command dot name so this should give me what command stop for each is not a function are you sure getters but Even this, like, if I do another one, I'm going to have, I have to have name help, and it does have to basically be like this, because otherwise, way but the hard part is how do I get those aliases
Let's see. I think I need to use getters and setters. So if I do commands and then I say git command why is that why are you like that I'm like, wait a minute, why, it, why is that telling me it's incorrect? Perhaps it's because it's incorrect. So then to use this, for here, you go away. Okay, so it's getting the whole thing. So I don't want to do all that. Cannot read property of undefined. That's, I don't think that's what I need. And I think that's going to fail too, because that's not a command. So this will get me all of the commands. Well, this will get me the whole object. But that's no better off than where I was before, because I can just do this. <laughs> Like, this again is one of those places where I'm uh, feeling like I messed something up, but I don't know what just yet. This, right now, I have it just returning commands. Um, can I do this dot alias? And then I put alias. OK. 
cannot have parameters. Okay, nope, that ain't it. So now if I go back over here and I say, commands, boom, command, All right, we're getting the command. How do we get the aliases? I think I need a separate I need a separate list somewhere. Do I create it in here? Does it come after this? No, because it has to be a part of this. And I can't do name. Ooh, Umbreon. You get an Ultra Ball. I think that's my second Umbreon, too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I caught him. And not wonderful, of course. That'd be too easy. But I think it counts towards a, a quest. And this only works, unfortunately, if I already have the command. Let me see if there's another way. Pretty basic how Discord does it. I guess I could get the Discord I think I can get the Discord additions and then just look at what they do, right? So let's let's look at that. it that's it oh it's got something else doing everything huh and I could just do a big switch statement <laughs> big switch statement. I don't like that idea. Go away. That's the one I was looking at.
Must have no JS. Let's look at a big old list of stuff that we don't understand. Okay. So we've got this. I don't have any aliases. Message.content. Wait, so no, that's use an object map. So, message args full command. The full argument was, the arguments are split by, the test succeeded. Where does, okay, commands is so they've got it so it's a command all the way up at the top and then commands dot sv equals So in this case, the if it were being structured in the same way as mine, it's just going to be the same thing. It's going to be SV, but then they've got it as the command in and of itself, okay? And it does all the things. Um, If expected argument number two to be a valid server target. commands.h if I do this okay 
Oh, I don't want aliases. Oops. Uh, command dot run. Well, it gives, yeah, it gives the promise <laughs> because it is async, which if I just go here and get rid of this, That means, in theory, all I really need to do is just create those instead of putting the aliases up top. Although I can do a for each. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Um, I'm gonna put you away. We want you back. Not you though, because you're kind of dumb. We want you. All right, so let's, we gotta get rid of you so that this gets broken. Come on, make sure we're seeing it. Okay, uh, we're not gonna send alias only commands. We're gonna get rid of this and I can, that's not what I wanted. Don't do that. Um, so I've got the aliases. So basically now I just need to say that commands dot, can I do for each on it? Yeah, for each. If command aliases, then for each, uh, but it's not commands. Is it? Why does why is for each not working here? Dot for each is because it's not an array, it's an object. How do I do a for each object? Oh, just a regular four. So I need to say four commands. Oops. right and then close that out oops close that out
Undefined reading of zero. We got a bunch of undefined and one of the milworks. Okay. That's kind of perfect. Because I've got a bunch in here, like YouTube, YT. Um, I just add the aliases here. So, zombie help. Man, that was... That was an hour and 18 minutes of my life that I'm not going to get back, but I think, I think we're getting there. Oh, Mentis. How are you, Fomentis? Yes, it is a Pokemon. It is not a person. <laughs> uh, so we just need the same thing here. Alices. Uh... Why not Z-Top? We also want... Top Commands. Alright. Uh, test isn't going to... I guess... I need... So, if... Commands has property. I don't know. If commands key has own property aliases, then let's console log that out, huh? Good. Or is it just has property? Oh, that's probably part of the problem. No one caught the full mantis. Has property. Okay, maybe it was. Sweet. So it'll only grab it if it actually does. That's a start. Then what we need to say is uh, commands key no. I need to say for each or no this is this is a case where I do have it so I can say um, commands key dot aliases dot for each alias And in theory, if I do, it didn't like that. Oh, it didn't like that because I left something stupid in there. Uh, this one. Boom, boom, boom. Now, this is going to be weird in the... This is going to be weird for specifically for this command. What is the most top most used command? I mean, I guess the alias is great, but wait, so it found the command, but then it's undefined. That's not how that's supposed to work.
That is definitely not how that's supposed to work. All right. Give me a sec. I'm going to revisit it. I think if you know what you're doing, you probably have already seen where I screwed up, but that's all right.
Well, that was an adventure getting water. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm pretty sure I know what happened there. Well, I'm not sure that I know what happened there, but I, I have an idea. So I have commands alias equals commands key. Let me just... All right, so I do get each one. Now, if I compare that to... No, not that. If I compare that to this... So commands, command dot run. But over here, I'm doing it differently. So that's, that honestly doesn't matter. <laughs> uh. All right, so I get, get, wait, where's H? Oh, I don't want, I don't want to do just H, huh? Okay, this is help Z help. So I've got help Z help. So command dot, that should mean that command alias equals commands key. Do the main ones still work? No. Okay, so I just have that backwards. No, that doesn't make sense. That's going to be even worse. Psyduck. Don't mind if I do, since I'm here. But yeah, now I'm just getting undefined. Trans.key aliases for each. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, no, that should be commands dot alias. Yeah, no, that should be. Equals commands dot key. Let's just go this way. top top commands yeah what do we think did it catch it do you care no one caught it womp womp My loyalty points in my own stream are so low. I'm, lo I'm unloyal to myself. How dare I? That may change. I may, I may stay late today. Why not? I did get a new dock to set up, but 
I'm not exactly in a huge rush for it. It's amazing that this is a dock. Well, amazing to me. I'm used to T-Series Lenovo laptop. Not even Lenovo, IBM T-Series laptops. <laughs> So what am I missing? I'm so close. I mean, it seems to me like it's working. If I do help, I get a response of undefined. Help argument, undefined, raw, help. But if I do zombie, I also get undefined. But it is most definitely defined. Unless uh, by doing this, I'm adding something else to it, which is, it is not unpossible. So let's look at that. Uh, we're in here. Oh wait, we're already, already console logging it oh well yeah that's that's the undefined right so what if I instead do this maybe it's coming through funky Wow. All right, so it's definitely coming through. So help is giving me aliases and response. Do I need to do this? Yeah, now it's one lower. So I need to say commands dot Commands. Command. <laughs> okay. Okay. So why is that happening? That's one of the things I do need to get better at. Why is it that it got pushed down a level? So I'm going to get rid of this because I don't want to deal with it. As long as the stuff is getting called, I'm fine with that for now. But I need to look at why it's getting pushed down one. I must have something. Else in here. Because I'm exporting commands. Do I need to. Why is doing this making it one level down? I 
like what is different about adding to it oh, I can do it this and this Serious, why is this adding another level down? There's got to be something about that, right? Call it my package. It looks like this source index generate stuff. Index looks like this. Now I can import and it's just my package equals this. when I do something it's it has to do with main in package.json in my package source okay okay so now that's <laughs> That's pathing. That's completely different. Unrelated. Uh, it's not really import. It's require. Get up B equals two. There B. Let's require B. B B is two. What? That's, I don't think that's what I'm after. <laughs> Important set of require. We can include specific exports only. So if I go back over to here, where are you? Commands. So I do that. Let's see, is that going to break it? Yes. Okay. So now let me go back down here and instead of where are you? Here. Oops. 
Oh, okay, that's just getting rid of that. No problem. Z top should do the same thing. Z top now fails again. Async function response. Well, that's different. Okay, it worked that time. Do I need to await? Oh, I don't think I can. Yeah. So because I have async in there. By doing this, I've exposed a new issue, and that is that this isn't taking it into account, or isn't taking into account async. It just seems like it is, because it's taking long enough. Uh. So this needs to be wrapped in a then, because I can't do any of this until the promise happens. Or until the promise resolves, if the promise resolves. just need to handle the stupid promise. No love. Yeah, but I got a ground stone. I think that's what I needed for... No, I just got a ground stone. For reasons. I guess that's one of the things that can just happen. Okay. And this, this is another thing that sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. I think that was an issue that I ran into earlier in that... Uh, it went to check whether or not it found data from the uh, database 
and it tried to send that to standard out and crashed because that data hadn't come back from the database. So I'm, I'm definitely a little bit in async L. <laughs> and I want to get myself out of async hell, but I need to be able to deal with the database. And it's not just the database. There's, there's also just waiting for a response from Twitch or from any other uh, web interface. I've got to be able to do it. I mean, I could just, if I make this entire thing asynchronous, but then I have to go right on down the line, like this then has to be asynchronous. Well, no. I can just put a then in here, I guess. That's going to be a whole rebuild. This might be something that I want to do a little bit more, uh, put a little bit more effort into re-engineering. I mean, especially this big old if else, like if, 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 I don't like that. Sometimes that's how you have to do it, I understand, but not a fan. I mean, I guess I could make a is a command isn't a command. <laughs> Switch case. Just keep that switch case going. Oh, okay. That's why this is outside because it's in its own then. So it checks this after that then, and then it also checks the other one. There really isn't any way for me to I mean I can run it off the logger. That's kinda <laughs> that's super janky though. <laughs> uh, if this happens, do the logger then. It's a command. I've got a lot of extra. I've got a lot of, I've got too much log in here actually. That's fine. Let's 
See, now zombie help is coming in. Oops. That works. Two. That fails because I just get a promise back. Also fails, I get a promise back. That one worked. All right, I need to add something to say if it's an alias. And if it's an alias of what? So let's do that real quick. We can just add it here. Um, This is going to be kind of interesting, though. <laughs> Actually, I should. I'm getting down to here. Save. Just change this. I don't really need an alias for that. Actually, I wonder if, you know what? I wonder if that's the problem. Oh, come on. Probably doesn't even need that. Probably just do that. There we go. No, so you're fine. Like, but top. Because that's just it getting reassigned to itself. That's not weird at all. Copy. All right. So now set. That's a long one. Sites. This one. Okay, we got this one. OBS blade just crashed. That's fun. And then Dyson opt out. All right, so when we make this, we also need to say uh, commands dot alias dot alias is true. Then I need to add into the data model 
for message. Um, command raw, I need uh, command alias. Data type is not going to be a string. It's going to be a bool. Do I have to spell it out? I guess I do. Then when I save it over here, Yeah. Oh no, I need to do it in message handler. Which Just need to do this, which means it's going to be. Let me bust this out just so that I can validate exactly what I'm sending. Because I'm creating message.commandraw, message.commandargs. So command.commandraw. Dot. No, is command dot command args command alias is command dot command alias. Instead of sending uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait, I'm already doing this. Let me just change this to info. This is still going to fail, I think. Yeah. Read properties of undefined reading. This is coming through in message handler, but where is it getting? That should be getting called in. Right, so I've got the command and the argument. But I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's failing earlier. Okay. Where do I call message handler? Let's 
So it's the finder create, creates the defaults. It says it's a bot user. Okay, so here we go. Data.payload.event. So this is where I save it, or I prep it for saving, but I don't use it again. Because I'm still doing it, I'm still checking here. Where is the next time I call message and why do I have it here? Let's let that crash. Okay. up here. All right, so this can't be there. Oops. All right, put message back up there. That makes sense then. Although it Well, no, because I'm emitting it. That's why it's here. Okay. I understand why it is where it is. Um, I guess, realistically, I don't need... Well, no, I do need those in the model either way. So... What's the problem? Cannot read properties of undefined. I mean, that should be okay, right? It's not required. Do I have to do a default value? Like so. I mean, I guess I don't need anything there, right? If there's a command, I add it. All right, we have a crash. And this one is database related. Oh, 
no such column, command alias. Oh, right, right, right. Um, that is true. So I need to create that column. And I don't think I have... Let's try and see. I haven't used the apps guy in here. Power saver mode is active. Why? Let's see how this goes. And drink some water. Seems like it's taking longer than it should be. <laughs> You'd think, I mean, the entire purpose of this library is that it kind of takes care of the database for you. But it seems like once it's created that database, it's up to you after that point. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Are you fine? I'm fine because everything's fine. Come on. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Are we done? It looks like, according to my feed, it said open for a second there. There we go. Uh, we want to open. You are in. Oh. What do you know? Uh, persist data. Let me move this over here just to make sure the keys don't show up for, you know, reasons. And actually, is it this one? The last one is a top command. That's probably me. All right, so I just need to uh, create a column. Save table, print, insert a new record. Set encoding, no. Oh, I think I need to go over here and back to here. I need to modify it. I need to add, this is going to be command alias, and it will be a uh, why isn't Boleen on here? Hang on. 
All right, let me bring this back over here just so that I'm showing it. Um, so here's the old messages. Okay, options. I have Vartar and Authorize. Is Bool really not an option? That's weird. If I modify this table, if I try to If I add, and I call you, I mean, that doesn't seem right. Let's see. There's got to be something I'm missing there. Uh, there is no native Boolean support. Interesting. They're stored as integers. Huh. Good to know. That's what we're doing then. So we're going to say, okay. We're going to... Wait, did that just, like, fix it? Oh, wow, buff it. database we go to browse data we go to messages we have command alias cool I can't move you but I wonder if that's something I can do over here in the structure Yeah. Oh, it doesn't care. All right. I don't care either then. At the end of the day, it's, it's programmatic, right? Who cares? Um, now, though, I need to actually create something in there. Eh, Wab Buffett got away. Stupid Wab Buffett. Message command raw argument. We're getting command. Uh, there we go. Raw command. I need to get rid of this.
Okay, so raw command argument is data payload event message text match. So that's saying it's matched. I need to in here. Oh, okay. So I just do it here. No problem. Um, I need message dot command alias equals response dot I think it's just that let's get rid of this because that's not helpful put you all the way down at the bottom I mean, this is going to be true either way. And let's see. Top. All right, where is this still coming from? I need this to go away. <laughs> Because it's really bothering me. I think it's happening in save still. On direct debug, user exists. C plus models message create. No. It's happening right after save chat. No, we have save chat user exists. That's the keep alive. Why are you getting that happening in handle message no. I mean I don't need that anymore at all in the command still I think that must be it right that's not it command 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 no where is this debug coming from and why did I not label it should become error. <laughs> what are you? Info. I'm going to have to expand on that a little bit, but that's fine for now. I have a lot of console logs in here, still. That says to me this isn't complete. Uh, i just do a to-do. To-do. Because they got to get out of there. And oh, I'm going to reconnect because it crashed. I will be right back.
And we're back. I think I need to make sure that those aliases don't get caught up in that help command. <laughs> One more thing for the future, right? Object.keys.command filtered list. I guess I do command dot filter command not this. Can I do and in here? Or do I just do another filter? I think I just do another filter. No, let's see. And command. Um, so that's the name. That's going to break it, but let's see. Oh, well. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. that no problem so this is not really doing a, a for each this is the keys Object dot keys commands. So then, oh, I know. And command. Just using those keys again, or that's just using. Yeah, because all I have there is the keys. So I need to filter it first to get anything that is an alias out. isn't it? So I've already got the starts with test taken out. So 
So if I do Oh that's that's actually a a good one to have right there. But um I need to say four sizzlepede catch all right really doing it. Save set sites, discord, upvote, dice, out, opt out. Zombie help, top YouTube. No one caught it, stupid sizzlepede. All right, available command, zombie help, top YouTube. Okay, so no, it's... Why is zombie help considered? Splice is the problem there. Dun, 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 dun. Wait. Sent chat message. Okay, why didn't it do that? Oh, I know why. Because <laughs> I wasn't using the right message. There we go. If command filtered list alias.
They shouldn't all be true unless I've screwed up and I'm assigning them. Hey, Cyberette, been a long time. How's it going? So alias is help, boom, boom, alias is true. Alias should not be being set to true there. All right, so I screwed something up farther down. That's always good. Just back to easy peasy doing the work, huh? You were working on a uh, a certificate, weren't you? Yeah, end of vacations. It's been like a month. to find that if you're not in there then you have to be in here nice how was the uh as your training i've done a bunch of the online courses you know, just to get that Microsoft score up. You're just going to be a logger debug with no other. That's only on the reconnect. Which one did you go for? If you don't mind me asking. There we go. You can go, oops, that's not what I wanted. I want the whole thing to go away. Cause that's bugging the heck out of me. Those are aliases, that's true. And why is it going through it again? Oh, I know. I think I see the issue. I've created a stupid loop.
You are back here. Microsoft certified as your administrator associate. That's the third level one right before the security where, where you can kind of branch off into the, the individuals, right? That's got to be fun. I felt like when I was going through all of the, uh, the training stuff, it was a whole lot of conversations about, well, internal conversations about how it's different from the uh, from the normal server services that they have on you know Windows Server and that sort of stuff. Like, where did they hide my cheese as it stands? <laughs> I've heard that that's kind of the normal thing. Like, not only is it they've created something and they've named it something else, like Active Directories, Intrata, and that sort of stuff, but, and that was, just having that conversation with myself was interesting. <laughs> but they also tend to rename them and move features between, between functions. here all right so if it has its own property aliases then i create an alias of it but what i need i need some way to tell if i've already created that alias because I, I can't i don't want to double it up which is what i'm doing right now I'm actually surprised it's exiting. <laughs> yep, that that makes that actually makes perfect sense, and it is uh, it is something that they focus on a lot in the online training of can you verify your your budget and where are the check boxes and knobs to make sure that you stay within that budget. Well, that's cool. It's it's not like the uh, the Linux side or the the Kubernetes side where their focus is on just get as many running as possible. <laughs> Someone will figure out the cost. <laughs> Microsoft has always been far more business focused, which is smart. It really, I mean. You have to keep an eye on that stuff. And having the tools built in from the beginning is super important. So what else you been up to? Anything fun? Any fun vacations? Uh, since you brought it up. set true All right, so it's got just the aliases there
Why then? Here. If command filtered list dot alias Oh joy Dunsparce Yes, I installed the uh, Pokemon community game. All right, take care. It was good, uh, good to see you again. Swing by. If commands filtered list dot alias, so it's only going to do that if the alias is true. But it's doing it like, oh wait, no, that's not me. No one caught the Dunsparce. Womp womp. Here in commands main, I set it and it copies it, but even though alias is true, it copies the aliases over as well. So when it does that, I need to say commands alias dot aliases equals I've got to clear it out to say that it doesn't have any aliases it is an alias I mean this is still incorrect but at least we're getting somewhere this list is getting shorter. <laughs> All right, so now up here. No, make sure I'm not. Let's get rid of this. That's not useful. Catch more Pokemans. Nope. I haven't caught anything since that Umbreon. That was weird. Alright. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Okay, so in help now. 
of listing the command. I don't want to add a name to it, just just for debugging purposes. Should I just do this? Because that'll tell me, right? But that should, that's just going to give me this, probably. That's a lot. All right, so zombie help, but it's, it still says zombie help is true. But zombie help is definitely not true. So I'm still setting it to true here somehow. If command key has property aliases, then command key dot aliases for each alias command alias equals command key. Then alias is set to true and aliases is blanked out. So then here, let's see what that looks like. Oop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But if I do help, I get far more than eight. this as logger.b debug what logger not oh I don't have logger on here I do not interesting There's a debug. So this, I think, is fine. I think the problem has to be up here somehow. Yeah, I should do It's just, I should make a, uh, instead of starts with test, I should just have... in here that's just called test but again future me it filtered this so that's the no commands found all right so i equals zero as long as i is greater than the length of the filtered list, 
then you add to I. If the filtered list alias is true, well, that's the beginning of it, so alias needs to be false for that to even show up. Still got them there. So commands filtered list dot alias needs to be false. Save is false. Set is false. Sites is false. Discord, upvote, it doesn't have help, or it doesn't have zombie help in here. Opt out, undefined, undefined. Okay. So why are those still showing up there? start with test okay now if the filtered list alias is false then it's gonna log it let's just do it that way Same deal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So they're right there. Why is it sounding everything though? As I try to rip my ear off. Is it sending everything? Oh, well, I know why it's sending everything here. I'm not modifying the list at all. Um, so let's go, we need array splice. Or am I just creating a new array? To create a new array? No, okay, so... We need filtered list dot splice Oh no, we need a new we do need a new array because in this case Okay, I see. So in this case, if alias is true we need to take you out. All 
All right, so it starts at index i. In this case, and now that's insert. We need we need remove. How do we get stuff out? By removing or replacing and or adding new elements. But that doesn't remove elements. That's slice. No. Shift. Has, splice has to be the right way. is one element at index four. Splicing I Here, delete count. Okay, so that's saying we're starting at this point and we're deleting one. If that command is false. Here, so we're seeing that. Oh, you know what? Actually, no. Let's let's log the whole list here. So I've got the entire list. Oh, whoops, because I'm doing it that way. So the first one, top. Oh wait, help's already gone. Zombie help is already gone. So it's starting 
it's already I plus plus. It should start at zero. Why isn't it starting at zero? Is that my problem? So it gets zero, but zero is not on the list. So this shouldn't come up. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be in there. Okay, so then it goes to one. One also shouldn't be in there. So the first one that it says is in there, or the first time it pops up is five. Five. Which zero indexed six. But it still shouldn't be. Why is that coming up? alias then it says so the first one that comes up is zero but that's false all right quick break again I gotta get some more water Alright, I'll get water later. 
I had an idea. So this whole thing is coming around because I'm creating a command list first. If I go down here, I can create the command list here, right? So right here, I go objects.keys, but uh, let me... I'm going to get rid of all of this. We're going to, for now, keep the, keep this. I don't know if objects, let's see if objects.keys iterates or if I have to for each it. Okay, no, it's it's gonna just grab all the keys. So command list object keys. Filtered list just gets rid of those that have test. Then I need to say, yeah, we're starting over. <laughs> that <laughs> I see what the, what's going on uh, I was thinking it was saying not filtered list but it's just putting an exclamation mark in front of it uh, There should be uh, array dot it's not filter. Just gives us the keys. Is 
the last element. That's not what I want. Adds, nope. Scyther. I mean, it definitely seems like it's splice, but Changes the contents by removing or replacing elements. So this says, but not false. I need if alias is true. I mean, it's going over it like three times, which is less than ideal, but... only or it appears to only be getting the ones that are not aliases okay so what if instead of filtered list boom, boom we're gonna do Command list. Command list. Command list. So we're not getting rid of anything that's with test just yet. But then we do here. Like so. Then what we say is
So this is saying if alias is true. Wait, but if alias is true, that shouldn't be one of the... Zero, as long as I is greater or is less than the length of the command list, I plus plus. Oh, well, that's okay. I do need to take away the one. I still have the problem that I so I being zero is greater than commands or is less than I keep saying greater than is less than the length of the command list. I understand it's got to take one away. All right, so it's it's definitely running twice, which 
All right, we've got to figure that out, but... All right, so it goes 22. The first one does nothing, but it's still not, it doesn't make the cut. It's not in the list. Should not be this difficult. This really should not be this difficult. So there's a list. Oops, there's a list. list gets filtered. Oh, it doesn't even get filtered. It, it gets the length of the list. And then the length of the list. And what am I trying to show here? So I've got the list. Let's say it's four items. So it starts off at zero. And at zero, everything's cool. So it moves to the next one. We'll say it gets rid of that one. Now the, the length of the list goes down by one. And it subtracts one from its number, so it's back at zero. I mean, that's not how it happens, but now it's back at zero. And it what? Checks it again? Okay. No. Because it's, it's still lowered by one. Oh yeah, it is lowered by one, so it's it's checking here again. But now here is here. But this isn't happening, but it is happening. Oh no, I'm I'm logging no matter what, so the number's always going down. All right, so now it's only going to go down if something matches. Which, that is not true. That shouldn't get logged. That shouldn't get logged. Starting at 22 is true, but that's not true.
zombie help is unequivocally false. It says it right there. So why would that change? Let's put them side by side. I mean, at this point, I'm just repainting the pig different colors, but. We're going to get rid of you. So now we're going to need, that's the command list. And then what is this craziness? Why did it do that twice? I'm not trying to subtract nothing. So it's saying this, this, and let's add I. Hey, I caught a crowd on it. Starting 22, zombie help, true. Not true. All right, I've got to be setting it true down here somehow then. Is it getting true because of the way that I'm assigning it? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, if I don't set alias, then they're all going to be false. Poison type now. Modern rock. Shiny. Nope. Can't sort by name. Pound. Oh. What does that say? Is it just T?
it in. Doesn't make sense, but. All my Pokemon are gone now. St. Goose to get it. I don't think he's... Yeah. You know what? I don't care. I like Ghastly. Too bad that's a garbage Ghastly, but it's poison. So, <laughs> one step closer, right? try something real quick so when I'm running this command alias is command key let me do console.log I think it's changing. I think it's changing it with the entire object. Which I would understand, but... Added alias help for zombie help. Actually, that's interesting because it adds the alias, but then it does all the true. But that tells me what I need to know. It sets it to true on the keyed on the object. So then, instead of doing all of this, I'm creating the aliases. That's enough. Um, because this doesn't matter. But what I can do... Instead, I guess, is see if its name matches something in alias, right? If it does, then all right, good. We're done. You are an alias, you don't get added. list 
work. So now how do I, how am I going to get the name? So I've got all the keys. What I'm saying is... Where it was. Is it includes? Includes. Because why wouldn't it be something else? an array separate it out and then say like um, it is equals that and I need to say if goes until it's undefined. So I need to say if Asliases. If I spell it right, okay, so I can't use 
that makes sense. I mean, it can't check it if it's not defined. Um, so I need to have, I just need to have two ifs there. Just a big ol' if else bonanza. Isn't that the best? What the hell? I think that did it, finally. I don't even remember what the thing before this that was causing a problem was. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Okay, our aliases work. Well, that was fun. That is something that was bugging me. So I'm glad that that is handled. Ah, <laughs> uh, yay. All right, let me minimize all of this. Now we do still have, I do still have the issue of, there is a problem with the await. Like it's taking long enough that it's not a problem, but that's a problem. <laughs> off on a tangent so I'm just going to throw everything together into this commit not a great idea but whatever check out to main. And one second.
do think I need to clean up some of these. Like, uh, learn Kubernetes. That might be a bit much. I didn't even realize it's tripped to test out. Nice. Um. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, no, I'm back on main. I got worried for a second there. Let's go back over to this. Um, I'm going to I'm going to swap these. I think this should be Maybe I just need a learning links. Well, no, that's kind of the only one I'm dealing with. All right. Do it one more time. Updated text. Yay. And we do the pushy. Back to main, then I don't know if you remember yesterday, but I was having some problems with DNS. Oh my lordy, that's just silliness, silliness. So I, I actually, I have a primary and a secondary DNS server. The primary DNS server is the primary. Obviously, and the secondary, I never touch because all it does is get a copy of its own file from the primary. Apparently, when I created the one dot connected me domain, I didn't cop. I didn't make a copy of that over on the secondary. So anytime one of my machines was hitting the secondary instead of the primary which happens more often than you'd think uh, because it's right next to all of them. So it's going to have the lowest ping. It would just say, nope, can't find anything in that. <laughs> uh, it was one of those, it would just happen occasionally. New pull request. And we'll we're going to close that issue too because we have a whole new issue. It's related, but not the same. Uh, basically, what I got to do is I've got to go through and just look for any. I don't even know how to. There has to be an automated method to like slow your code down enough or speed it up enough to suss out await problems, but. Handled with a bonus. Create, delete, and uh, create, delete, and do the thing. I'm honestly pretty happy that this, I mean, I, I'm not happy how long it took me, but it's not like I'm a professional Java developer. This is something I've just picked up on the side, kind of, <laughs> obviously.
handled with a bonus. All right, let's go to our issues and we can close an issue. Oh, we can close this one too. Uh, um, did I fix that? Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> uh, I believe I fixed that. Commander, oh yeah, 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 I did. Uh, because I... So this, actually, it got fixed with the last one. That was, uh, it, it was not a twofer, it was a threefer. I forgot I fixed that. Um, commands being evaluated twice. Still happening. Um, add user option for ignore or no echo. What did I mean by that? Oh, okay. Uh, squirrel. Let's just look for bugs. Command stop working at some point. So I handle the reconnect gracefully. I do have an issue in that I uh, still don't close the old connection but it kind of takes care of itself after 30 seconds uh, but I should I should look at what I need to do to do that but we're gonna call that closed for now until it becomes a problem I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll just put it over here with the other fire. Uh, ooh, that's that's a big one. That really does still need to get handled. <laughs> uh, but let's create a new issue. Because now our issue is... Uh, we experience them in commands and in get user ID. about not goodbye it's too bad those still show up at least I think they show up I should I don't know. I'll figure out something. Blur them out or keep them from showing up on in the video. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can't find something to. Validate async. I feel like it's something I can do with Mocha. Uh, actually, yeah, can I validate async 
in Mocha. Or test async. If I remove done. promises mocha's documentation doesn't or wasn't making that clear okay so let's let's start looking at what we need to do to write some tests yay uh first things first we're all up to date this is kind of a long time coming i've been needing to catch up on this because right now it doesn't do a whole lot uh, so now the question is what am I testing right obviously I'm going to be testing the async calls I need to make sure I can get and put stuff in the database or in a database. All right, so what am I, what am I actually testing here? to create mocha test for data handler all right i'm gonna do this just because let's see what happens it should be an instance of sequelize okay models it should have it should have Well, that wasn't so bad. I don't, I don't know what that's testing though. I mean, that's, I guess there are some tests that are, that need to be written that are stupid. This is a whole lot of additional that I don't think I need. This makes sense. It's making sure that I can connect. still on main. I don't want to do that. Actually, let me let me just protect main. I need to I need to save myself from myself. Delete. <laughs> uh, 
Eh, maybe I'm not going to deal with that right now. Are we having fun or what? Uh, I don't want to use pseudo for that. Why would I use pseudo for that? Let's do... What do I want to work on? I don't want to work on tests because the more I look at it, the more I'm just like, well, that's dumb. I mean, I know I need to, but I feel like I don't know enough about tests to even like start delving into that. Um, I mean, that's kind of where I am with the client. Like, I would really like to get that going. Let's see. I mean, there's definitely more I want to do, but what? What do I want to do today? Or do I want to just call it a day? I mean, I'm streaming tomorrow. And I've already done four hours. Maybe I spend some time figuring out what I'm going to do, and we do it tomorrow. Sound good? Good plan? Great plan. All right. So with that... Uh... Thanks for stopping by, Cyberrat. I haven't seen you in quite a while, like I said. Uh, anybody else who swung in and swung out or just lurked, thanks for spending some of your time with me. And if you're watching on YouTube, pretty awesome of you to have made it this far. It's four hours. Maybe you're on a drive or something. <laughs> uh, have a good one. And I will see you all tomorrow i hope probably maybe we'll see